Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to make this video super short and quick to show you guys a quick comparison between the previous generation or the new iPad with Retina Display, Apple like to call it, and the brand new iPad with Retina Display released today on November the 2nd. They are pretty much identical as you can see. However, there are a few differences. If we take a look at the ports, the previous generation on top has that 30 pin connector compared to the lightning port. But if we take a look around the sides and take a look at the physical comparisons, they're pretty much identical. I know Apple had a quick refresh rate. It was only about a year for the new generation iPad. I feel kind of gypped out of my money since I was super excited to get uh, you know, the previous generation. But here we are today with a brand new one. The insides have changed a bit. On the left, we have the A5X chip, whereas on the right, we have that A6X chip, which has double the graphics. I'm going to run a few game simulations to show you guys a quick little test of the difference in graphics capabilities. And we're going to choose Infinity Blade 2 since it is an intensive game. So if you start them at the same time, you'll notice that the new iPad, or uh, the fourth generation iPad, loads slightly quicker. And I would definitely hope so since Apple claims it's twice as fast as the previous gen. And they're almost neck and neck, so not too, too many differences. And there you guys can see I'm in a bit of a different position in each of the games. But let's try a different game. We'll try Rayman. And you can see here the new iPad, 4th uh, gen, definitely loads a lot quicker. And we can go on and play uh, one of the games and it's definitely really snappy. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you guys like this content, please like and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one and I'll catch you guys later.